Look who I'm out with this morning. They so pretty, y'all, look. Hey, hey. What's good, goat family? Your girl is back. Hey, goat fam. Your girl is back. I'm happy to be back. So I wanted to come and do a life update video to tell you guys like where I've been and where I'm going. I have some good news to share with you guys. So let's get into it. Let's catch up. So um, you guys know that I ended last year participating in the 12 days of Christmas and you guys, it like wore me out. So I wanted to enter into 2022 seeking the Lord, like just getting before him because I had, I had so much going on y'all. And lo and behold, me and the baby end up getting COVID-19. Um, and for 10 days, we were down. So, and that was like from January the 10th up until like the 20th. And I had to go through so much of getting retested to start back working and him, for him to get back in daycare. So, it was approaching February and I wanted to start back working out, eating clean, because y'all know I left off on a good note. Eating healthy and I haven't been able to do that like... I haven't been able to get the food and it's been so frustrating because even though we're, you know, in the inflation, y'all gas prices high, food high, you know, I just wasn't expecting, oh Lord, like for it to be like this, but even on, even in that, God has still been good, y'all. I ended up applying for a position at UGA. They called me, interviewed me. We did two interviews. We did a phone interview, and then we followed back up with a, a Zoom call. Long story short, they hired me for the position, and they also put it on the table that I could go back to school and get my master's. Like, that was, like, out of everything, that was, like, icing on the cake. Because back in 2015, I was... um attending Fort Valley State and I was in grad school. I was going to get my um a degree in biotechnology and that was taken away from me. And I remember that same year I ended up getting a word from um Pastor P. J. Solomon. Um this woman didn't know nothing about what I had just been through. Like it was fresh. This was all fresh. It had just happened. She she told me, she gave me a word from the Lord. She said, you're going to get your, your master's degree. And I just took off running. Seven years later, y'all, from that word, here I am getting the opportunity to work and go back to school and get my master's um, online. <laughs> and I'm, I'm so thankful. When God says his words won't fall to the ground, he meant that it don't matter who against you. If God be for you, can't no man be against you. They're not going to be able to stop the plans of God. And so, oh, God, I thank you. Oh, God, I thank you. Y'all just don't know. Like, it's been, I've been going through hell. This been a, a, some, a battle, a spiritual spiritual warfare that I have been going through for years now. With people trying to stop and block me. Well, I'm not going to say people. I'm going to say the enemy. But like the word says, you know, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I really have to, like, stand on God's word no matter what that it looks like, no matter how I feel, because it's been hard. I literally have to fight with everything in me, you know, to stay planted, rooted, and grounded in, in him. Like, I'm, I'm 32 years old, and... I've had to, thus far, this has been my experience, like me facing um, racial injustice um, and you know, like women inequality, like that tractor back there. I wouldn't be asked to operate that tractor because I'm a woman. Like those are jobs that are looked at as man jobs. Like that's the man, a man should, you know, 
even though I've been, you know, I was hired to to do my job, I can't. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's been crazy, y'all. But I thank God for it because even though sometimes I I cry and I be like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't know why I'm going through this. It's a reason that I've been picked, you know, to experience this. You know, and he has really strengthened me because, y'all, I'm telling you, it's been hard. So, I'm looking forward to starting a new job. I start April the 1st, and I will be doing research there. I love working with my hands, and I also enjoy using my mind. Like, so, I'm excited to do that. I'm excited to get back in the lab. You know, I've been in the field, and I will still be working in the field, but I will also get the opportunity to get back in the lab and do other things as well. Um, as far as research goes. Um, so I'm excited for that. Also, thank you to my GOAT fam for the ones who stay with me. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to the, my new um, GOAT fam subscribers. Thank you so much for joining Mama to Go and Baby, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm at 736 subscribers, and I'm like at 2,000 um watch time hours so i'm so close you guys like i'm so close to being monetized <laughs> i can taste it honey i'm ready for it because that's been another prayer for me this year was streams of income honey i want to be that 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 tree planted by the rivers of living water like i want the streams of income i want that um it's so important y'all like for me for my baby for it's like for me to be able to provide for him I'm praying to have more exciting news concerning my business. Um, I do have a website, mamadagoat.com. If you guys want to check me, check it out. Um, I have um, t-shirts that are available. Just go over there and check out the website, you guys. And I have, um, I'm praying to have more merchandise coming and stuff this year, y'all. I'm just praying, I'm just praying, I'm just praying, y'all. Let me see, what else do I have to tell y'all? I have more videos coming soon, you guys. Um, don't give up on me when it comes to this weight loss journey. I'm in it, y'all. I'm locked in. You know, it's just me getting this food. Exercise is one thing, but it was a um matter of fact, I was watching Fat to Fit, Fit to Fat or something like that, that show. And the trainer, he gained weight. You he the trainer the trainer gains weight for their um to help the other person lose weight like they're they're fit they start off fit and then they get fat and then they're fat with the other person they both start working out to help them lose weight like that motivation like i was like man this is what's up and y'all it's one video that made me tear up and cry y'all i was boohooing and he said something that i've been saying it's like you can work out but for the people that saying I'm not losing weight, what are you eating? What are you intaking? Like, and that's the thing. That's the frustrating part for me because I'm like, I need the food. Went in. I've been working hard at eating. I'm expecting to see some difference in the numbers. 25 pounds in four weeks. In four weeks from eating. Proof that when you want to lose weight and you aren't, it's because your freaking diet ain't right. When you want to gain weight and you aren't, it's because you ain't eating enough. Food at the end of the day is 80% of everything. It's 80% of your success. It's 80% of your failure. It's 80% of your life. Ladies, um, since it's Women's History Month, let me know down in the comment section if anybody else ever faced discrimination, racial injustice, um, women in inequality, like on your job where they wanted to place you in certain gender roles. Let me know down in the comment section. Look at them. They came to see me. They so nosy. Look, look at them, y'all. They like, what is she talking about? Like, girl, I'm looking at you from the side of my eye. Don't think I ain't looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay. Okay. What's up? I'm looking at y'all, too. Y'all are so beautiful. Hey. Y'all don't remember me. Remember? I'm not gonna do nothing to listen. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of y'all, like for real.
thank you for watching this video um i will be back soon you guys just stay tuned for more to come be blessed yeah, yeah. Tell my mama you the goat.